my name's Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a cinematic look for your images. This is sometimes known as colour grading which essentially is creating a style or specific look for an image or series of images. And to create these looks we're going to be using gradient maps, we're going to be using a curved layer and also brightness and contrast. So let's get started. So I've got three images here and all of them are sort of in camera shots, they're quite saturated and uh, it's a good baseline to work from. So we're going to go down here to the adjustments panel, click on gradient map and it looks kind of weird at the moment but if we just change the opacity to say 30 we get really cool effects here and if you click on this you'll get a gradient editor where we can create our own gradients now with a cinematic look it's usually sort of dark colors and then light colors so you have two colors one of which can be kind of like dark blue dark green dark reds and then the lighter colors are usually sort of warm yellows and, and oranges so um, i've actually pre-done these i've got um, three here which i use on a regular basis but i'm going to teach you how to create your own gradients here so if you just double click on this point here and i'm going to choose my dark color which is going to be a dark navy click ok and then this point is going to be the lighter color so i'm going to pick a nice yellow tone click OK, click OK, and that's what we've got so far, that's the before, that's the after. If you do want to tone this up, you can always increase the opacity, so maybe like 40%. If you're not entirely happy with the colours, you can always double click back on the gradient and you can re-choose your colour. I think I prefer the dark colour, so I'm going to go back to that, click OK there. So that's the gradient map sorted. Now we want to create a curve layer and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull out the blacks. So I'm going to sort of reduce them and make them more sort of a grey tone. Um, this is also known as the matte effect which I did a video on a few months ago so go check that out. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. So I'm going to put a point here and then we're going to drag this point up. I'm just going to put a point here as well just to make sure that that part of the line doesn't move. So I'll probably go for about there. And then I'm going to increase the brightness just a bit and I'm going to increase the contrast as well. So maybe 10 for brightness and maybe 25 for contrast. And if I just group those together, let's have a look at the before and after. So from the before and after you can see that it has created great drama and this really cinematic approach and almost sort of a gritty approach as well and I'm really liking that. I think it really, really works very well. So let's move over to the next image here. So I'm going to use the same techniques as I used before. So we're going to come down to the adjustments panel, we're going to go on gradient map. I'm going to change this to 30. I always start at 30 and you can always reduce that or, in, or increase that, it's up to you. And for this one I'm probably going to choose the same settings as I had before. Um, so I'm just going to double click here, go for a dark blue, click OK. I'm going to go for a nice yellow as well, something like that. And if you want to save that gradient as well, just click on new and it'll put that in your presets. So you can use that at a later date. So I'm going to click OK on that one. It's looking pretty nice. I'm going to go down to the adjustments panel again, click on curves. I'm going to create my matte effect. I'm going to go for about there. And then we're going to increase the brightness and contrast. Now these are just the numbers that I kind of choose to start with. You can increase these to your liking. So I'm going to group those. That's the before and that's the after. Let's go to the next image here. Again we're going to go to the gradient map adjustment filter here and change that to 30. And I'm 
gonna maybe choose green for this one I think as the dark color so I'm gonna double click that click OK I'm gonna choose a yellow I'll click OK I'm gonna save that so I'll click new click OK and then I'm going to add my matte effect. And I'm going to increase the brightness and contrast as well. Group those together. That's the before and that's the after. So as you can see, they have really created these great dramatic and cinematic approaches to your images. I hope you found this video very useful. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you do want to see more from me, you can subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. Don't forget to check out tipsgirl.com for the latest Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram at PhotoshopFran and on Twitter at PhotoshopPro. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.